we are very grateful to have made this arrest so that hopefully some level of comfort can come to uh, Officer Reiner's family and his co-workers and friends. A major break in the murder of a Gwinnett County Corrections officer as police make an arrest. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Tom Haynes in for Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. After more than three days searching for the suspect on the run, Gwinnett County Police caught up with the man who they say killed Senior Corrections Officer Scott Reiner. 22-year-old Yahya Abdul Qadir was arrested more than 20 miles from the Gwinnett County Jail where the shooting happened on Tuesday. Let's get out to Fox 5's Tyler Fingered, who's live at the jail tonight where there is a tribute to that fallen officer. Tyler? Yeah, Tom, good evening to you. This corrections bus has been turned into a memorial to honor senior corrections officer Scott Reiner. There are balloons and flowers here, and also this bag of pork rinds that his family tells me were one of his favorites. As for the suspect accused of killing him, police say they still don't know a motive. Gwinnett County investigators say the man seen in this surveillance video is in fact a killer. 22-year-old Yahya Abdul Qadir has been arrested and charged with Tuesday's murder of senior corrections officer Scott Reiner. We are very satisfied to say that we have this person in custody and that this person will face justice for uh, the death of Officer Reiner. Detectives have been working on the case nonstop since Tuesday. That work led to Abdul Qadir's arrest in Lithonia Friday afternoon with the help of Gwinnett SWAT. Once we determined who he was, we were then able to follow his whereabouts until we had enough information to uh, go ahead and get those warrants. Officer Reiner's family was told about the arrest before it was announced. They released this statement that reads in part, quote, while we are still grappling with the loss of someone we love so dearly, we can now begin to properly grieve knowing that Scott's alleged killer is behind bars, end quote. At this point, police don't know what sparked the shooting, but say Abdul Qadir appeared to act alone. Gwinnett detectives say they don't believe Officer Reiner knew him. After days of work, investigators say they're happy to provide some closure for the grieving family. There's a great amount of satisfaction amongst our detectives. I mean, all of our cases are important to us, but a case involving a fellow law enforcement officer does take on its own level of importance. Detectives have been interviewing Abdul Kabir all evening long, trying to get some more information about what happened. He is facing a felony murder charge and an aggravated assault charge, and he's expected to face a judge for the first time in the next few days. We're live in Gwinnett County tonight. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. All right, Tyler, thanks.